Welcome to the world of self-service at USF, where we put control in your hands. In this video, we will show you how to search for classes. This functionality should not be used for registration, as you cannot register for classes from Search for Classes. Search for Classes is best used for individuals who are looking up course information, and for graduate and non-degree students who do not have degree works plans and are planning their registration for an upcoming term. This functionality is available to the public on the Office of the Registrar's Registration webpage. You can also access it from the My USF homepage. Click on the Student Self-Service tile. Once you click on the Student Self-Service tile, you will be directed to the Student Self-Service landing page. Under Registration, click on Plan and Register. This will take you to the Registration landing page. On the Registration landing page, select Class Schedule Search to search for course offerings in current and future terms. When you click on Class Schedule Search, you will be taken to a page with a drop-down selector. Select the term you wish to search for class sections and then click Continue button. From here, you will be able to enter criteria for classes. The less criteria you enter, the more results will be returned. There are many different criteria you can search for, including subject and course number, if you know the subject and course number, you can enter that into the subject and course number field. You can enter more than one course at a time by using the Enter key and typing in another course. Subject. If you only want to search by subject, you can enter the full subject name, for example, Chemistry, or the three-letter acronym, for example, CHM, to search for the subject. Course number. If you only know the course number, you can enter the number and select Search at the bottom of the page. This will bring up every course with the course number entered. Campus. You can limit your search to one or more campuses. You can also search for only off-campus selections using this criterion. Level. You can limit your search to undergraduate or graduate courses only using this criterion. Attributes. Use the drop-down to select general education attributes internships, zero textbook cost, or other attributes as directed by your academic advising team or graduate program coordinator. Part of term. Use this drop-down to narrow the part of term, or dates, a course is being offered. For example, if you're seeking a late starting course, it will display in the alternative calendar part of term. If you're seeking a Maymester or winter term course, select the intercession part of term. Instructor. If you are trying to take a course from a specific instructor, select their name and see what they are teaching during the term. Instructional method should be used when you specifically want to find course sections taught in person, or CL for classroom, hybrid or HB for a course section that has a mixture of in-class and distance learning instruction, PD for distance learning courses that are offered 80% online and 20% in the classroom, or AD for all distance, or course sections that are offered 100% online. Open sections only. If you're planning your registration, avoid frustration and choose this button to see only the sections with seats available. Keyword. If you're interested in any section with math in the title or course description, this field will help you use full or partial phrases when you're unsure of a course name or subject code. In this example, I am looking for courses with a zero textbook cost. By choosing the attribute from the drop-down and then clicking on Search, a full list of courses with zero textbook costs will display to choose from. The highlighted column shows the zero textbook cost attribute for each course. And for ENC 1101, it also shows all other attributes that are associated with the course. If you look further into the ENC 1101 course, it shows that the course still has available seats. To know even more about the course section, click on the hyperlinked title, and the class details pop-up box will display. This shows information about the number of seats available, waitlist information, meeting times, course description, a link to see required books and supplies. If you want to start another search, click the green Search Again button on the top right corner of the screen. This will take you back to the original search parameters. You can remove your last search criteria 
by choosing the clear hyperlink at the bottom of the page next to the search button, or you could continue to look for zero textbook cost and do an advanced search. This will extend your search options to include schedule type, this is how you find online courses, start and end time, and meeting days. Instructional method allows you to narrow your search. You don't need to select class lecture or discussion, but you may want to search specifically for course sections when registering for an internship, laboratory, thesis or dissertation credits, clinicals, individual performances, individual study, supervised research or supervised teaching. Enter your new criteria. In this case, I'll search for course sections offered on Monday and Wednesday. Click on Search to get the results. If your search is returning no or few results, remember, it's best to limit the number of criteria you're using in your search. There are additional videos that you can watch that provide in-depth instructions about the components of student self-service. Please check them out on the Office of the Registrar's website and as always, go Bulls!